business accused of shelling out hundreds of thousands of dollars, much of it on an executive who doesn't even live in the state, driving a car that you paid for, too. The state wants the money back, but that organization is telling me a different story. Controller Tom DiNapoli says a recent audit by his office shows that Capital District Beginnings in Troy needs to cough up $831,244, the amount they received in reimbursements for what DiNapoli calls a no-show executive, inappropriate staff bonuses, and more than $40,000 for vehicles, including one for that no-show director, among other things. We just feel it's very clear that there was inappropriate payments. That, that we need to recover. A large chunk of the $800,000 is centered around that executive director, Mary Garrett. According to the audit, Garrett was being paid like a full-time employee, despite her living most of the year in South Carolina. In addition, she was in possession of a car funded by New York taxpayers, and thousands were spent flying her back and forth to New York and putting her up in hotels. In this case, you had uh, one of the administrators putting in for time in New York when they were living out of state. That raised questions about the appropriateness of, of the reimbursements. We have challenged the comptroller's findings and maintained that there has been no misuse of public funds. Paul Bichant says the $800,000 worth of inappropriate expenditures is all the result of a vague and inconsistent rule book, which details what kinds of expenses are reimbursable. We feel in this case uh, that there was a certain level of misunderstanding. That includes all the money spent on or for Mary Garrett. She provided significant management um, services to our organization. Despite the audit, Capital District Beginnings is still paying who they now refer to as their former co-executive director, Mary Garrett. And according to their attorney, he admits that she currently resides in a southern state. She founded the organization. She owns the company. Um, she is a co-owner, uh, co-director. Um, and still, we're in a transition process of the organization, and she still provides, provides significant management control. The audit now goes to the state ed department, and Bashant says they'll reimburse whatever amount state ed deems appropriate. We stand behind our numbers. We uh, expect that state education department will work to recover that money. Uh, so I'm confident that we've got, we've got the right number. Four arrests came from audits of two similar organizations downstate. In those cases, money was used for things like retiling the floor and landscaping the grounds of an executive director's vacation home and paying the 12- and 16-year-old granddaughters of another executive director. Those girls have been listed as independent contractors. There are currently another 15 audits pending.